A common complaint about the X-Arcade tank stick is the quality of the joysticks themselves, which are described by many as imitation cheap knockoff HAP competition joysticks. So how about we just replace one with a real HAP competition joystick and check out the difference? It's time for some surgery. Everyone put on your lab coat and pretend like you're a doctor. It's time to cut this thing open and install a real HAP competition joystick. I bought a red one from lizardlick.com with shipping the total came to $15. Not an expensive upgrade, although it does require some manual labor. Where's the chainsaw and blowtorch? The joysticks that come installed with the XRK tank stick are those black ones. And after you play a fighting game for two or three hours, they turn into mush, something I experienced firsthand with Capcom vs. SNK2. But even with its faults, the XRK tank stick is a wonderful, well-engineered joystick that can be used for a variety of games on numerous game consoles and PC. But it does have its faults, one of which is the fact that you have to use a butter knife to pop the back of this thing open. Like putting one little handle back there would have been all that difficult. Here's a look at the inner workings of the X-Arcade tank stick. They make other joystick controllers, but I like the tank stick because of the trackball and the sheer girth of this thing. It's just really big and heavy and doesn't slide around the coffee table when you've got good rubber feet installed. I've got this propped up on our workbench here. And here's a look at the underside of the X-Arcade joystick that we will be replacing with the HAP competition model. Notice they do have a slightly different design and you'll get a better demonstration on how they work later. For starters, you want to remember what wire goes where. I'll take a 3D picture of this using my Nintendo 3DS because it's just sitting there. I also just wrote down the actual colors on a diagram. That's probably the better way. I would like to point out that I am a technically incompetent person when it comes to building anything. I'm horrible. I can wire a home theater with my eyes shut, but I can't fix a broken doorknob. So the fact that I actually got this done indicates it's not too hard. The nuts and take this thing off. Not too difficult. Breaking things is always very easy. I'm quite good at it just to ask all of the computers I've wrecked. Now it looks like the new one, the HAP competition joystick, will sit right into the space from the old joystick. But it's not quite that simple. Because the space where the joystick is going to fit is about half of a millimeter too small. So you've got to grind it out a bit. Using my old school handy dandy AC powered drill, I'm going to attach some grinding tools and spend about 45 minutes grinding away at some of the fiberboard to make room for the new joystick. Not a whole lot, just enough so that you can jam it down in there, which I did using a screwdriver and the power of the force. Then I'm going to put the bolts back on there and reattach the wires after following my diagram instead of the out of focus 3DS picture. And now the fun part, I'm going to insert the joystick. Don't read too much into that statement. It's actually a piece of cake from here on out, and you should get a good look at how the inner workings of this joystick actually uh, work. There's a little clip thing that you have to put on the very bottom of it, and I just use those needle nose pliers to do that. There's a spring on the inside of the joystick, and that plastic thing will hit all of the uh, buttons or actuators or whatever those things are called which is a different design compared to the joystick that originally came installed. So, the big question is, is this worth $15 and one hour of your time? The answer to such a big question is... Drum roll? I think so. It really was not very difficult, and if for no other reason, I do like having a red joystick on top of the X-Arcade, but it also works better. It's easier to tell what direction you are pointing the 8-way joystick which makes for improved gameplay during spaceship shooters like Thunder Force 5 and after playing Street Fighter 4 and Capcom vs SNK 2 for a couple hours it did not suffer the same sloppy grinding sensation that the original X-Arcade joystick had after a couple hours of gameplay. Here's an audio test because now they sound different too. While it's not a night and day difference, 
The HAP Competition joystick does have a more authoritative click when it's in position. I find it to be more precise, and it does not have a problem when being played for several hours in a row, particularly during demanding fighting games. It comes in several different colors, and I'll let you know when I'm using this joystick in upcoming game reviews. The HAP Competition Joystick.